Hey, you always gotta go with the mortars. America. I don't know. My Fourth of July has always been like a huge letdown. So it's just like, I mean, it's pretty normal, but. <laughs> Best firecracker to use for 4th of July. Mortars. Yeah, you always gotta go with the mortars. Just try not to blow yourself up with them. Ooh, one that uh, explodes big and hopefully far away from your hands. Those little plastic tanks that shoot at each other. I'd say hands down bottle rocket. You can't do 4th of July without bottle rockets. I'm so basic. I just love a good old sparkler. <laughs> Oh, uh, TNT, the one you throw on the ground and like makes a snap pop noise. I like those a lot. The one that has the biggest explosion. <laughs> sparklers, sparklers are a good one. It makes me feel free. Everything about this country. America. Just being able to wake up every day and just do what I want and do what I love to do. I'm able to pursue any interest that I may have. The fact that we have the freedom to, to say, you know, what's on our hearts and what we feel, uh, that, that makes me feel really free. Ah, the most patriotic of our team. Oof. Uh, probably me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll just go with Josh. Uh, I gotta give it to Josh. Josh is pretty patriotic, even though he's from Canada. Definitely very good American. Why or Matt? One of those two. Wyatt. Least patriotic? Oh. I don't know. I don't know Who's if I should. Who am I gonna throw under the bus? <laughs> yeah, who am I gonna throw under the bus? I don't think we have one. I think we're all pretty equal. Ooh. Oh, Jonathan. Ah, uh, man, I'd probably, patriotic in a different way would probably be Jonathan just because he's very patriotic for his Mexican culture. <laughs> but he's proud to be an American, but I know that he loves his uh, his Mexican heritage, so. Probably me, I guess, <laughs> I'm not sure. The least, pa uh, probably Pedro. Pa <laughs> <laughs> Pedro's Pedro's cool, but he just he's just Pedro's just loving life. He loves racing. I don't I don't think if Pedro had I don't know if Pedro's even voted. <laughs> That's a tough one. Best beer, Blue Moon. I gotta go with uh, Mug Root Beer. That's my favorite one. Uh, Modelo. <laughs> my mom won't like that answer. <laughs> Jack and Coke. Hold the Jack. Best 4th of July activity? Ooh. Um, well, you can't go wrong with fireworks. Uh, football and drinking. A lot of drinking. <laughs> um, so there's always football and there's always cornhole. And I gotta go with football. Definitely a football game. Underneath the lights and everything's perfect. There's never football. <laughs> God dang it. Honestly, anything with friends and family. Just being around the people you care about. Uh, just hanging out with family, uh, or you know, being at the racetrack like we will at Indianapolis. Honestly, uh, it'd probably just be at the racetrack. Horse, you know what? Actually, horseshoes. Horseshoes is my favorite game. Fourth of July story would be that I almost blew myself up with a mortar. Fourth of July, yeah, that's my best friend almost blowing his house up. Uh, I had a firework explosion, but I was not in the country when it happened, so I don't think that counts. I don't know. My 4th of July has always been like a huge letdown. So it's just like, I mean, it's pretty normal, but... <laughs> All right, so uh, probably one of the craziest 4th of July stories is my dad telling me that him and his cousins, when they were really young, they used to shoot like you know, fireworks at each other. Well, my dad didn't go into specifics of what fireworks they used to shoot at each other. So I kind of took it in my own thoughts and said, hey, with my friends at the party that night, I was like, hey, we have bottle rockets, we have Roman candles, you know, let's just play like tag with 
fireworks. I don't know why that seemed like a fun idea at the time, but it, let's just say all it took was just one person taking a bottle rocket up the shirt to know that we probably shouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> oh man.